Reducing adjective clauses, simplifying your English. Hello everyone, welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're focusing on an interesting and useful grammatical aspect, reducing adjective clauses. By the end of this video, you'll be able to simplify complex sentences, making your English communication clearer and more efficient. Before we can reduce them, we need to understand what an adjective clause is. An adjective clause is a type of dependent clause that functions as an adjective in a sentence. It modifies or describes a noun or pronoun. These clauses are usually introduced by relative pronouns like who, whom, which, that, and whose. For example, look at this sentence. The book, which is on the table, is mine. Here, which is on the table, is the adjective clause describing the noun, book. Now, let's dive into reducing adjective clauses. This involves simplifying them into adjective phrases. We do this by omitting the subject and the verb, be, or by changing the verb to its ing form or past participle form. Here's an example. The man who is sitting next to me is my brother. We can reduce the adjective clause, who is sitting next to me, to the adjective phrase, sitting next to me, making the sentence, the man sitting next to me is my brother. While reducing clauses can be very useful, it's essential to know the rules and exceptions. One. We can only reduce adjective clauses where the relative pronoun is the subject, not the object. 2. If the relative pronoun is that, it must be dropped in the reduction process. 3. Adjective clauses that use the verb be, followed by an adjective, an adverb, a noun, or a prepositional phrase can also be reduced. Be mindful of these rules when you try to reduce adjective clauses. Practicing what you've learned is the best way to solidify this knowledge. So, try reducing these sentences. 1. The woman who is standing over there is my teacher. 2. The flowers that are blooming in the garden are beautiful. 3. The boy who was chosen as the leader is very responsible. Take your time to practice and verify your answers. That's all for today's lesson on reducing adjective clauses. We hope you now understand how to simplify your sentences, making your English communication more fluid and natural. Remember, practice makes perfect. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you in our next English language learning video. Keep practicing!